Hey everyone, I'm Godlepole, back with some more leak things. Today we're going to be doing some more Unranked Diamond and Try Hard, and as usual, um, we're jungling against a Warwick, so I did take Legend Tenacity and, and cut down in the runes for the Shen as well. Other than that, not really much to it. Uh, my bot lane was going to get cheese, so like the smart, intelligent human beings they are, they went the round because they actually used their brain. That works for me. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this game probably is... Um, I kind of want to camp bot lane because their bot lane is pretty immobile. Hmm. Is he going to try to fight for this? I can't tell. I'm going to bring it around this corner because if I bring it around this corner, he gets no vision of it. So he can't just come in here and try to take it. We'll smite it just to be sure. But uh, yeah, we don't want the Warwick to actually be able to come over here and take this. I feel like he might go for an early gank top lane, but I do have a set top lane, so I think he'll be fine. I don't want to go do anything too dumb over there and like kind of run up there level 2 into the Warwick space and then be like, Hey Warwick, hey buddy, I got nothing good for you. Okay. Well, he should be going to gank top lane here soon. He did have scanner already, which means that he doesn't have a ward down in my jungle, which I know now, and I can kind of come up here to mid. He will be ganking very, very soon. I'm pretty confident in that. He should be at his Krugs unless he went to his Raptors. Hmm. Nope. No, there's, there's no way to get a play down here. All right. Just queue over the wall and just see. We'll just check. Oh, he actually didn't go to his Krugs. He ran away from his Krugs. Okay. Well, if he ran away from his Krugs, then we can take this. And, I mean, that's not a big deal for us. It won't be enough to get me level 4 unless I kill a lot of this camp. Which I don't necessarily intend to stay here for a crap ton of this camp's time. Oh, oh, do you get your W? There we go. There's the first blood that we wanted. Works for me. Um, <laughs> I didn't think we were going to kill him there. The Shen actually played that pretty well. So I'm happy with that. My uh, my set's actually roaming to me for the Mark II, which is really good for him. I didn't think he would come down here and try to help me out. I guess that's, you know, I help him, he helps me type of situation. So we'll both go reset now. I didn't get my level 4, like I said, because I didn't clear enough of that camp. But that's not a big deal at all. We got a first blood. We also got our first Mark. There's no real complaints here about the situation on the map right now. Guess we go check for raptors. I don't know if they'll be alive because I do know Warwick was bot side, in which case, if they're dead, so be it. I don't really care all that much about the raptors being alive or not. Um, what I do want is just to get my level 4. That's that's pretty much what I really want. My Diana? Oh. Oh, Ziggs is here. Oh, if I got the last auto off, he might have died. Oh, come on, Diana, you can do this. Oh, dang, no. So yeah, he did take my raptors, unfortunately, and he did flash. They both wound up flashing there, so there's nothing that I can really do to actually catch them. Unfortunate, um, if I lost my Krugs too, which I know I did, I'm going to kind of be in a bad spot XP-wise, so we're just going to go off top lane instead of looking for the camp that we are pretty confident is down. we got to get this XP. We are not in a uh, position where we want to deny ourselves too much longer, so... Yeah, good news though is we got the Warwick Flash, we got the uh, Ziggs Flash, and that's really nice. And it also should give Diana a chance to hopefully kill him soon if she got the Flash. Uh, she does need to reset, but she has her TP up in the lane, so she should be okay. Oh, she's not going to TP back to mid, interesting. To be fair, he didn't shove the wave in the way I think he anticipated it, so... That's good. Warwick should be heading up towards top lane right now. It's the only lane that he can gank, and my top laner is hard shoved. So if I were to kind of rotate up here right now, odds are we're going to run into a Warwick and stop him. Okay. How's this? We're going to wait here. Warwick should show soon. My set is level 6. I'm wasting way too much time. Once again, we just grab this because the Krugs are worth so much XP, and for some reason this Warwick doesn't get them. My shit, my, my, I was about to call him shit. <laughs> my set actually solo killed the uh, Ziggs there, which is really surprising, I'm not going to lie. He actually uh, just solo killed him. I'm really impressed with that one. Ziggs should be coming up here through the tri bush in a second, and if he does, 
we could probably kill. No, he actually turned around. Yeah, I don't know where this Warwick's playing. He's actually legit just not playing on the side of the map, I guess. Like, this set should be a pretty easy kill for him. He was extremely low after the Shen gank, and, or Shen kill and stuff, and the Warwick just doesn't show up. It's really weird. I'm gonna assume he's in my bot side jungle and take a dumb risk and try to steal his red and see what happens. Um... I don't think he'll be here, honestly. I think he has my red timer, so he's going to be in my red side. So I think that's pretty safe to take and a pretty safe bet. He will be level up on me here soon. I am definitely behind in XP for where I should be if, like, the way I played early on was kind of not good. If she can kill him, we can, uh, we can kill here. No. Okay, I mean, we'll poke him out of lane. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Diana's TPing. Diana, I'm coming, friend. I'm coming, friend. Oh, come on, let me get him. Oh, I'm not gonna get him. All right, all right, we kill him now. That's double, that should be a triple, and easy. Nice. I was able to get down there in time, get that nice triple kill. The Warwick, uh, he didn't have any mana there, so I was pretty fine to go there. And then the Shen already used this taunt, and the Swain also didn't have mana really much. So I knew that I could kind of fight that, which is why I didn't. I don't know why you're pinging me. It's easy. It's better for me to push the wave in. <laughs> Deny farm and get some turret plating? Heck yeah. Butter chase me. Oh, my red buff got me turret aggro. I didn't think about my red buff. Yeah, she took a bunch of minion aggro, though. My vein's running it down right now. Um, she might be able to kill the... Oh, oh. Okay. She actually got the kill. <laughs> that was sloppy. That was really sloppy. But she did it in the end, so you can't really complain. It works nicely for our team. Top lane is getting 1v2'd right now, but he is set, so I don't honestly know how much of a fear I would have. If I were him, yeah, I would ult the Shen away and get out of the ult. Oh, ooh, 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 there's a weed wick. I'm coming, friends. No, don't die. I'm almost here, friends. It takes me a minute. No, run away. Okay, I take it back. I'm running away. Oh crap. I think I just ended this play. Wait, where's my R? My R didn't go off. What? <laughs> I ended that play really bad. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, either way, let's just grab this. So. We'll be fine. I uh, I ended that fight. I honestly tried to R, but I was like, it didn't go off, which really, really sucks. The Warwick actually got that too. I could have killed him if I played it better, but his Q also following me through uh, the flash is what kind of cucked me there. It's all right though. I just made a big mistake and I mean, can't be making those kinds of mistakes if we want to win the game. So yeah, and like I did think he, uh, he did take my red too. I kind of assumed he had my red timer. So it's good to know that I was right on that regard. Swain's killing the crab, I believe. Oh no, he's not killing the crab. Swain's actually in the jungle over here. Yes, we get this. Haha, <laughs> thanks for the herald, buddy. <laughs> Good herald, friend. He was not prepared to use that, I know that much. Come on, Vane. Come on, Vane. Come on, Vaney girl. Oh no! What? 
what? He turned on me and queued me for that much damage? Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. I trolled that fight so hard, man. Oh, I'm so sorry, team. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm an inter. How did we not kill that dude, though? I guess we'll go crit cloak for now and just see where we go from here. I'm re I don't understand how we actually couldn't kill that Warwick. I know, like, obviously the healing and stuff, but I didn't think he would just turn and kill me with the Q like that. Holy... Oh, I, okay, I'm trolling too hard. I can't go for these risky fights. I'm, like, I definitely am the one who's, like, making these bad calls. I'm gonna go up here for my thing because I want it. Warwick did get the dragon. He's not dumb enough to go for my red here. At least I would assume he's not. And, yeah, uh, you, 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 you know ping me. I'm not gonna go yeeting all the way up towards the top side for the mark. Okay, good job, Botlane. You did good. I'm proud of you. Gotcha. The Swain's roaming again. He, she needs to be careful here. I'll push the wave in for her. Because if I don't push the wave in and she stays, she's just instantly dead. So there's no point in not doing that. And uh, I don't want to go for the plating yet because we just saw Swain through mid. And if Swain and Weedwick come through mid, we are done. And yeah, I don't want to be donezo again. I don't want to into third death away already. I just need to not do that and we'll be okay. I honestly should have gotten the Executioners this early on too. Because I should have gotten it for the Warwick and Swain healing. I didn't think about it when I went back because I'm, you know, a little bit of an idiot. But it's alright. Either way, we're going to hit level 9 off this. We're not too far behind. There's nobody who's level 10 yet in the game. So given the circumstances, we could be much, much worse. And it will, it will work. It'll work. Oh, set. Can you 1v2 these two? I do not believe you can. You're dead. Or you might not be dead because you are set. No, I don't want to run up there. Okay, I do. I do. Is he in the bush? He's not in the bush. Okay. I wanted to come up here and just see if he was in the bush. We do lose the mid lane turret off this because Ziggs has his uh, execute. And once Ziggs executes the turret, there's not much you're going to be able to do. Never mind, the Ziggs ran away and he's going to assist spot lane. Okay, we don't lose the turret. Instead, we can just kind of go check what's alive in this jungle. Maybe find some camp camps. Nope, no camp camps. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll go tax up mid lane then. With a taxation sensation here. All right, we got enough for a BF sword, so whenever we back, we have that. That's always an option. Uh, again, I don't know. Maybe I do executioners instead of BF sword, but we'll see. If I can get just some turret damage done, this is fine. We don't want to fight the Ziggs alone right now, just because, again, I don't think he's going to be alone. And he's really good at poking. Ziggs is one of those champs who is just a poke champ. And Kindred hates poke champs for that reason, because your range is so short, and he lowers you until he can kind of just burst you down. Alright, I just saw Warwick coming over here. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to let the mid lane turret go down, but... Yeah, I don't really have much of a way to defend this, honestly. Like, yeah, see, I just, there isn't much I was going to be able to do to actually defend that. I don't know where Warwick is right now either, so yeah. Oh, yep, see, he bombs me twice and I'm nearly dead. That's uh, that's why Kindred doesn't like poke champions. The same reason Kindred doesn't like Zoe and like stuff like that is because they poke you from so far away and it feels bad. Because <laughs> unless you can get some marks and some auto attack range, yeah, you ain't doing crap. And right now I have no marks because I haven't focused on them like at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Crap, Warwick's gonna go mid. I want to help bot lane and just kind of get their turret down here, but I can't because of Warwick going up towards mid. Alright, I should be okay. No, I'm not okay. I am actually okay. I'm not okay. Bro, I have no HP. Bro, I have no HP. I'm sorry, friend. Unless you got W, I have no HP. I tried to help the Diana, and that was the best case scenario I could have, is try to help. Yeah, no, I have no HP at all.
Anywho, gotta mute that dude. Because the only reason I fought that right there was because the Warwick is going to go run at Diana and ult the Diana. And I'd rather not just, uh, like, try to let the Diana die for free when, I mean, we could sit there and at least try to help. And, I mean, I did get out alive. That's literally all I had to do, is try to help her live. If it didn't work, it didn't work. Like, I don't know what he's so butthurt about. <laughs> like, that's not my fault, buddy. <laughs> that's not my fault that I tried that. They got wards in here. Warwick is topside, so we should be able to do this if we really want to. There we go. And we are going to have an Ocean Rift. Okay, Ocean Rift's not terrible against this because actually Ocean Rifts are pretty good against... Uh, they're pretty good against poke team comps, so yeah. Because obviously if you can get the Ocean Soul and all the healing and stuff that comes with it, it actually helps a fair bit against uh, pokes. So it will be nice for the zigs and stuff, and hopefully we can get it. Warwick's trying to come in my jungle. I'm not going to let you have this, buddy. Thirteen hundred gold. So one more camp. Probably just gonna do my whole blue quadrant, and then we will see what happens from there. Now, I do know that my sets are not also like building how normal sets build right now. I know a lot of sets build Bork, and I feel like if he had Bork, this game it would help him too. So maybe he'll build that soon. But uh, overall, right now the game is pretty much focused on getting, keeping myself where I'm at, and then play around uh, probably Diana in these team fights because I think Seth's gonna split push, and he seems like he's a little baby rager. So yeah, we uh we're gonna focus on others. I'm gonna mark Shen. Oh, where works top lane? Yes, taking him away from me, Set, was your brilliant idea. <laughs> that was your brilliant idea. Oh, he should have ulted him towards the turret, not away from me. Alright, well, anywho. Uh, we kept the set alive for long enough to actually at least kill the Weedwick, and I just, uh, I just kind of entered that, didn't I? Oh wow, <laughs> he killed us both. I ended that. I wind up with him. The Shen has Bramble Vest too, so he's uh, like he's super tanky. He's got a bunch of armor. He has no magic resist, so yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Either way though, uh, it's fine. We did manage to at least get Warwick, and I got a 600 gold shut down from him. So it's pretty much two kills worth of gold for the Warwick, which never a bad thing. Never a bad thing. So yeah, we uh, shall take it. <laughs> All right, um, Swain, Shen, hmm, they both got bounties. Uh, Warwick is not extremely strong right now. He's actually kind of like he took warrior So he's rather squishy compared to what he could be which is nice for me I mean, obviously he still has his damage reduction on his E so that's always gonna be a thing But he could be a lot worse especially because he went Titanic and the warrior instead of uh, HP I'm pretty sure warrior act or Titanic actually scales off of bonus physical damage But like, yeah, it's an HP ratio. I don't know why if you're gonna build Titanic on Warwick you wouldn't want to go with a uh, with an item that gives HP, like you know a, a uh, you know what it's called, a um, uh, Cinder Hulk. I don't know why you wouldn't want to go with that, but I mean I'll take it. Okay, I thought Warwick was gonna kill her. Rip top top. I mean, what are we gonna go do over there right now? We have no real actual good engage right now, and we're over there. Uh, yep, see, that's what happens. She's gonna go and just get caught out, and there's nothing she's gonna actually do. Oh, are you serious? I failed the flash. Whew, there we go. It's fine. It was all a setup. 
everything was a setup. It's a setup. Uh, it hurts. No, oh my god, what killed me? His, uh, oh, his sunfire killed me in the end. <laughs> oh my god, the sunfire in the end killed me. I'm playing like such an idiot this game. I just woke up, that's my excuse. <laughs> I don't think this is, I, I don't think set kills anything here. No, he's dead. Yep, the set's just being dumb. <laughs> he's unfortunately just kind of like he he's letting the character of set get to his brain. You know, it, it's like he's just trying to run and punch everything. Mm. All right, well, we get red buff, I guess. They got the uh, their second dragon, which is eh. Hopefully from here on out, maybe we can do something. They're getting caught again. Uh, man, 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 man. They just need to stop for, like getting caught and just like understand we cannot fight them right now. Uh, to be fair, I don't know how we're going to fight them in the first place other than like Vayne coming online and getting a bunch of kills because we don't have any real actual good in-game. Like we have the set who can R one person or Diana can dash in, but then she gets instantly CC'd to death. And nothing happens, so it's one of those things where there is a limit to what we can actually do. Like, Set's dead here. There's nothing he's actually going to be able to do to win this fight. Vayne at least did get one, which is always good. Lulu still has ult for Vayne, which is nice, but it's really all on Vayne's shoulders right this second to do much of anything. Okay, well, the vein or the Ash made a really bad call right there, so I'll take that. Nice, we get a dice double for ourselves. Maybe we can somehow get Shen, but probably... Oh, no, we did. Oh, good job, Vayne. All right, so Vayne and uh, the Diana TP was all that was pretty good. Uh, I do need to get some minion or some actual marks, which is would be good for me. And yeah. I was playing really dumb this game, and we fell behind pretty heavily. <laughs> like, in terms of not me personally gold-wise, I was probably decently even with Warwick, but I fell behind in a lot of places where I shouldn't have fallen behind because I made some dumb, dumb calls. Wonder if the Ziggs will come over here and check this. I don't think he will. Okay, if he came a little bit closer, I would have jumped, but because he didn't come a little bit closer, I wasn't willing to jump on him right there. Now we can actually start working on getting more crit too, which will be good. Um, I'm going to be going for, obviously, a zeal because I do want a zeal in this game. I'm thinking, again, like usual, Phantom Dancer is just a god tier item, so probably going to get that. Unfortunately, Diana did get caught. She got Ash Arrowed, though, so, I mean, it seems like it makes sense. Uh... They're probably going to try to rush Baron again at some point. I'm at, our set just needs to build armor right now, which he's kind of like all over the place with this build. Like he's got components for a Hydra, he's got components for like a uh, Sunfire Cape and stuff. He just, he really needs to just build some armor and like MR, like hell even a stone plate and just kind of tank them because he keeps getting jumped on by three people because no matter what, the Warwick's on top of him, the Swain's on top of him, the uh, the Shen's on top of him. So at that point, he really should just get himself a stone plate for the extra bonuses. Okay, we just saw their ward expire right there. I do want this blue buff for myself because I'm rather greedy and I do like the actual mana. It helps a lot in a fight and the extra 10% CDR is never bad. I don't think he can do anything. Nah, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late to fight here. Alright, we forced the Shenar. That's not a bad way to start that fight off at all. Oh no, 
Was I not on top of the uh, vein? I, I guess I wasn't on top of the vein. That actually might be GG right there, depending on if Diana can, like, cl like clutch this out with me. I don't think she can, though. I don't know what ults and stuff they have up, though, so this could be risky. It could be okay. It really just depends what they have up. We do get one. That's good. Diana's going in. We got that. We win these, boys. Lulu, shield me. Lulu, shield me. Woo 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 woo! Oh, what the heck? That Shen or that Swain Q it goes a lot longer than I thought it did. My bad, team. All right, well, Vayne's alive either way, so we did kind of stall them long enough. I don't even think we lose an inhib off this at this rate, which I mean, stalling for that long, perfect. Uh, never mind, Vayne is actually dead. Now, so now Set's alive. Uh, this Swain actually really hurts, and so does Shen. I did not think that the Swain had that much damage. That is uh, really surprising, honestly. All right, though, they got the Shen. Good, good, good. From this point forward, we should be in a stand, uh, I'd say a pretty fine spot. I don't want to say like a normal spot, but we should be in a fine spot. We didn't lose the inhib, so it's good overall. Set actually just got himself a crap ton of gold. He just got himself like 1250 gold from those two kills. That's really good. That's really, really good. So, yeah. Hmm. Alright, uh, red buff is alive. I do want red buff for myself. I know Vayne's gonna want it, but I personally wanted to, so I'm gonna take it. Because that's what I do. There we go. Put a ward right there just to make sure nobody's coming in those little bushy bushes. And yeah! Um, Warwick is still my mark because, I mean, he's, like, again, he's dashing onto us the whole time. We've been killing Warwick a good bit lately. So, yeah. This is alive. I actually do want to get this fourth mark. A fourth mark in this fight could be game-changing for me. Ow. No, bad dog. <laughs> we do need to all be around this side of the map because this is the side of the map where like obviously they're going to be making some plays can't let them just have it for no reason never a good idea okay yeah, I need to walk away not hitting me with that hmm Essentially, as long as Vayne lives these fights, we're fine, because I, like if Vayne can get her damage off on the tankier people and then I can get my damage off too, we're in a really good spot. It's just all it's pretty much all on Vayne's shoulders. Um, I'm just going to ult that because I don't know if they're going to die there or not. It's probably the safer call. I honestly thought Lulu was dead there, so yeah. Oh, that's a fucking beautiful Diana fight. That was a beautiful Diana fight right there. That was a beautiful Diana ult. Or, not ping, not careful. I didn't mean to ping careful. <laughs> I meant to ping on the way there, but it didn't uh, do the thing. Didn't do the thingy thing. Alright, well. We do not, we get a nice, nice Baron here, which is always good. Uh, I will go get my sixth mark now. We'll see, this is, uh, this is where the game starts to turn around. Because as long as we get these, like, good fights, then we're fine. Like, as long as the vein stays alive, it's like, she can melt anybody who we can. And then once she does that, that's just easy, easy fights. Um, what I think I almost want to do in this game is I almost want to go for Bork for the extra lifesteal and stuff, which is actually what I'm gonna do. I know a lot of people might not agree with this build, but it's the way I'm just looking at it and the way I want to do it, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh no, Vayne. Okay, you're good. I forgot Lulu kind of cancels or counters Warwick's ult for that regard. I completely forgot about that. I forgot that it knocks everybody up. Oh, boys, you're a little bit, like, I respect the testicles, but, uh, it was a little bit dumb. I'm almost here, friends. Uh, we might have just thrown the game.
Okay. And anybody else want to come over here? Like, I'm down. I'm, I'm DTF, you know? Alright, we can walk away. Alright, and this should probably be GG right here. I should do the other one, 1v1 Warwick pretty easily. Easy. I knew I could win that fight, that's why I took the fight. Like, it, it's something that just... The, the vein, or what's her name, the uh, Ash was going to get deleted no matter what the second she got anywhere near me. So, it was kind of obvious that I could win the fight. No! Oh, the, the CC! Damn! The CC! I couldn't R because I got CC'd there. Oh, I entered that away. Honestly, I feel like that should have been GG if I would have played that a little bit better. Because if I got the R off, I would have been easily able to kill them. And the Shen, he's, he doesn't mean anything to me now. I got my Bork and stuff. What I might do soon is I might sell the uh, Skirmisher Saber for the um, Storm Razor soon. Because there's not really much of a risk or anything for it. It's not bad. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are right, they fine? They look like they're fine. Okay, well, remember when I said they looked like they were fine? Yeah, I lied to you. I lied to you. They, they are not fine. They, 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 were, they were not fine. Looks like they need, uh, they, they need the kindred in the fights. Oh, is he dead? Okay, he's dead. Alright, now we need to run away, and that's good. Get a nice kill on the, uh, on, like, three of them. That helps a good bit for our team. We're being chased down pretty freaking hard right now. I think I'm dead. Unless Lulu can shield now. He's too fast right there. Nulu didn't have ult either, I don't know, I'm, like, obviously she used it in the fight, but I don't know what happened in the fight that made her use it early, so it just kind of was a little bit of an unfortunate thing. Ah, uh, I think Diana just kind of entered again. Maybe not, maybe Lulu can keep this one alive. Oh, yep, Lulu actually keeps her alive. Good, 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 Lulu. You did good. He did exactly what you needed to do. That would have been so sad if she actually died to the Ash Arrow there. <laughs> and we can get our Elixir now too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Overall, this game is still looking like it's starting to favor us pretty heavily, which is good. Now, it could all change in an instant, but it's looking like it's starting to favor us pretty, pretty heavily. So... Yeah. I just realized how, like, how unfortunately bad everyone else is doing the thing. I want to go get this seventh mark for even more range because that would be nice, especially just to make sure we can kind of catch them out everywhere. But there is a lot of risk going for this mark, like the entire enemy team kind of uh, rotating over here with Nash arrow and destroying my will to live. That's uh, always one of the risks, but we should be okay. Come on. Mm 
<laughs> okay. We get the Baron, so now where are we gonna go with it? Probably up mid to get that inhib, and then after we get that inhib, I'm thinking from there we'll probably. Uh, I want to say we could keep pushing an end, but it looks like everybody's kind of going their own separate way right now, which is never the best case scenario in situations like this where you're in a very close game. So there's a lot of risk to it. I'm full build on top of like I'm max level and stuff, so I don't really need these camps and things, but still always nice to have. I honestly should have gotten a scanner in this game. That's one thing I like. I, I even I still do this so much. So I always forget to get scanners, man. I always forget to get scanners. Like if I don't get it on my first back, I just space out and it's like, what the scanner do? Scanner like this? What do I do? Vayne, buddy, I know you want to like contest them, but you gotta come over here. There we go. Shen wants my attention. I don't care about you, Shen. Oh, he flashed like right as soon as I flash. Alrighty. Looking like that's probably the GG fight. The Warwick thought he was going to run away, but the Storm Razor slow probably caught him by surprise because it's a 75% slow. So that worked out really, really well. Yep, getting nice assist. That's the GG's. Definitely, definitely. I should just go top with my teammate, but I'm already in mid, so I might as well push in this wave. Nah, it's, it's GG. Do they have a wave? Yeah, they got a wave. It's, it's just GG. Easy. All right. Well, uh, as per usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would say this is a pretty solid carry. I mean, in terms, I think I did pretty well. Uh, like usual, if you did enjoy the video and stuff, press the like button, comment what your favorite part is or what you want me to do or how much you hate me and how much I, uh, I, I just look like an idiot at all points in the game. And other than that, uh, have a good day. Click the sub button and the bell. It also helps me. I'll show you the post-game lobby for those of you who want to see it. And yeah, uh, who do we honor here? We'll honor Lou. We'll, we'll honor Lou. Hey, almost 60k damage that game. We actually did so much there. Um, like I said, it was on our unranked design. It's been fun doing tryhard games instead of doing troll builds every game because it actually helps a lot more and it's actually fun to win games. <laughs> so that's been fun. Uh, almost 3k damage from press the attack. Um, almost, oh, wow, over 4,000 from cut down that game. That's really good. An extra 1,500 from cheap shot. So yeah, overall, we did really, really well. You have 14, uh, let's see this. This Warwick is complete trash. Oh my god. Anywho, though, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good day. See you later. <laughs>